Khartoum from India. Assalamu alaikum. Salam wa rahmatullah. Sir, I have two very important questions in which I need your guidance. Uh, my first question is, uh, like in subcontinent countries, in court where they follow Hanafi faith, the nikah without wali is valid. So if court registered, so my question is, if any boy girl knows the hadith where the sallallahu alayhi wa prohibited the validity of nikah without wali, so in that case, if a boy or a girl go to Sharia court in case their parents and every relationship who can be wali are disagree for their marriage, then any imam or judge become wali of girl. So in that case, nikah will be valid in, in that court. Will the relationship be halal after that? Okay. If it's valid, then what about the authentic hadith where Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa declared the invalidity of nikah without wali? Okay. Uh, my second question is uh, like for advice. There are many, many wives who need advice on negligent husbands who are killed that, who are fulfilling their responsibilities as a husband. Also, they provide financial support and all, but kill that when it comes to supporting the physical and emotional needs of their wives. Reasons could be any. I hope, inshallah, you will understand what kind of reasons can be. So, what should a wife do in such a scenario where husband refuses to cater his wife physical needs for over a year or more than that? Will wife be held accountable if she finds a way, keep herself away from Zina? That's what my question was. Okay. I will answer, inshallah. Inshallah. Um, Mayaz from Saudi. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikh. Is the name right? Wa alaikum salam? Yes, yes, Nayaz. Yes, Mayaz. With an N. Yeah, N. Yeah. Okay, Nayaz. Yes, Nayaz. Yeah. How are you, Sheikh? I'm fine, Hachi. Barakallah fiqh. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Uh, Sheikh, first of all, we, I, I would like to wish all my Muslims, brothers and sisters uh, in the whole world the new Islamic New Year and even to you. Jazakallah khair. And Sheikh, my question, uh, inshallah, we will be traveling to Umrah. Mm. Uh, so, a small, uh, the daughter, she is around 11 months. So, we make her uh, near for her on behalf of her and take her for Umrah and uh, what will be the reward for that? If we... Uh, to, or is it necessary or is it not necessary? We just uh, take her to Umrah. Okay. Any more questions? Uh, no, Sheikh. Jazakallah khair. And uh, I think is I just wanted your number, Sheikh. Okay. Uh, the brothers in the control, inshallah, will provide you with my okay, number, you. my mobile number now, inshallah. Thank Zak you, Jazakallah khair. Kalthum from India had two questions. First of all, according to the Hanafi madhab, it is which is prevailing in the subcontinent, it is permissible for a woman to get married without the approval and consent of her guardian. And usually, the guardian is the father. So she is saying, what is the nature of such a marriage? First of all, the vast majority of scholars say that it is not permissible to have a nikah, uh, in the beginning, I thought she was referring to niqab. It is not permissible to have a nikah, which means marriage, without the consent and approval and the proposal of the guardian. So it is the responsibility of the guardian to say to the one proposing, I give you my daughter in marriage. This is called proposing. This is called ijab. And uh, one proposing, he's the one who gives his consent by saying, I accept her marriage. Now the marriage is done if there are two male Muslim witnesses and the consent of both the boy and the girl is present. In the Hanafi fiqh, it is not required. Okay, can you give me concrete evidence? Because I have the Prophet saying, alayhi salatu wasalam, in an authentic hadith, لا نكاح إلا بولي وشهد يعتل. There is no marriage, quote unquote, valid without the presence of uh, a, a guardian and two male witnesses, trustworthy. So I have this command from the Prophet ﷺ, telling me that the marriage is invalid. So you, in the Hanafi madhab, can you give me something from the Qur'an or from the Sunnah that proves that this is okay? Allah Azza wa Jal stated in so many places in the Qur'an that 
the men are the ones who get the women married to others. ولا تنكحوا المشركين حتى يؤمنوا in the women part ولا تنكحوا المشركات حتى يؤمن ولا تنكحوا ولا تنكحوا what's the difference ولا تنكحوا المشركات it's addressed to males do not marry so I'm the one who's getting married in terms of women do not get the women under you married to disbelievers meaning that the marriage cannot happen without the guardian's approval hence when we ask them they say isn't a woman allowed to buy and sell where with her wealth she can sell her house she can buy a farm with her money the answer is yes definitely they say in this case isn't her body more worthy of her own control and own permission rather than the permission of her guardian and we say subhanallah how can you say such a thing in contrast to or in, 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 in conflict to the hadith of the prophet you're using your logic with the evidences from the quran and the, from the sunnah this is unacceptable it's like someone saying okay uh, if i pass wind does my wudu break and i say mm, yes this is a consensus of scholars he says why it is only gas coming from my stomach so if i burp would i also break my wudu i said no I said what's the difference I said, subhanallah what logic are these people using so this is the benefit of always abiding by the quran and the sunnah and giving them precedence, giving them priority, giving them the lead in our lives to decide for us, rather than using our logic or listening to Tom, Dick, and Harry. And therefore, such a marriage is not valid. But, and you underline the but with two uh, uh, red lines, if you wish. The issue is that if the people of the subcontinent are laymen and are ignorant of the Quran and of the Sunnah, like the vast majority of Muslims worldwide, they don't have the knowledge. All what they know is that this scholar of mine, he knows best. The Imam of my maslak is the best. And I don't know a word of Arabic. So they fully give their uh, 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 harness or give their rope to be led by their imams and by their judges and by their scholars. In this case, such individuals, if their scholars said to them that your marriage is valid, we say that your marriage is valid. Not according to the Quran and Sunnah, but according to your ability of understanding, according to the scholars who told you that this is permissible and you have your full trust in them and Allah knows best.